common vestibular terms. N. Electronistagmography. Many inner ear disorders cause an involuntary movement of the eyes called nystagmus. This nystagmus can be recorded and analyzed through ENG testing. Stimulation of the inner ear for this test includes rapid position changes of the head and body, and caloric, temperature, stimulation of the inner ear through irrigating the ear canal with different temperatures of water. The goal is to determine if both inner ears are functioning and responding equally to the stimulation. Additionally, tests of voluntary eye movement serve as a screening for possible neurologic disorders. VAT, vestibular autorotation testing, so that we may maintain focus or gaze on objects while moving our head, nature provides us with a vestibular, inner ear, slash ocular, visual, reflex. The impairment of this reflex action can cause imbalance or visual blurring with head movement. The VAT test determines if this reflex action is working properly at fast speeds of head movement. Rotational chair. Rotational chair testing allows us to stimulate the inner ear and avoid stimulating any other part of the balance system. It is a very sensitive test of inner ear abnormality. The patient is placed in a motorized rotating chair and eye movements are recorded and analyzed. Other auditory brainstem response balance problems can come from the inner ear or the nerve pathway between the inner ear and the brain. This test involves recording the transmission of sound traveling up the auditory nerve. Hearing and balance information travel the same nerve pathway. Results of this test can help us rule out the possibility of nerve degeneration or small auditory nerve tumors that may be affecting balance and or hearing. SOT, sensory organization test using balance master posturography. Good balance depends on the efficient use of all balance information available. This test allows us to evaluate one's reaction to a variety of difficult balance situations. This is done by having the patient stand on a platform that measures center of gravity, and any sway from the center, while at the same time provoking them with conflicting balance information. By doing this, we can determine what type of situation is most likely to result in a fall. This information helps us design a customized therapy plan to enhance balance and minimize the risk of falling.